More facts have emerged on the ongoing probe of the Niger Delta Development Commission NDDC by the House of Representatives Committee on Niger Delta Affairs in Abuja. The committee is probing an alleged misappropriation of about 8.5 billion naira belonging to the commission by the Interim Management Committee between October of 2019 to May of 2020. One of the petitioners, Kola Wally Johnson, told lawmakers that the NDDC has been a cesspit of corruption with officials diverting billions of naira into private pockets via contract racketeering and obnoxious initiative. And now we will we still have Libros Oshoma in studio and he will help us understand all of these things going on. Still good to have you here, Libros. My pleasure. Well, we won't be tired of talking about the things going on in this country. You, you saw the drama. Our earlier yes. guest said it's one week, one drama. Hopefully there's not going to be any drama. But very quickly, how do you assess the things going on? Yeah, I've, um, like I said, you know, sometimes it uh, can be very frustrating. But the only hope is that um, when you step out there and you see people tell you that um, you know you have given hope to them hmm. with uh, some of the things you say, and then you've been able to educate them or clarify some naughty issues, so you are hopeful that your talk actually is yielding um, you know some form of result. Otherwise, it can be very frustrating. Hmm. Where you, in the midst of all of this hunger in the midst of the lockdown, in the midst of um, people losing their jobs. Right. Somebody sits down, look, you know, the camera in the eye and say, um, we helped ourselves. We are with, human beings too. We are human beings too. We helped ourselves. Meanwhile, you were collecting salaries while you weren't working. You know, you were collecting 40 million naira as hotel bills while the hotels were on lockdown. You spent 1.1 billion on sensitization, yet you only sensitize your pocket. Mm. You spent um, um, uh, 1.8 billion to buy uh, Lassa fever kits and nobody saw them. You spent um, um, uh, a road rehabilitation that you were supposed to spend 800 million on. You spent 25 billion on and yet nobody had seen those roads not to talk of rehabilitation. And then the worst part of it is that it is the Niger Delta people that are underdeveloping the Niger Delta. The people heading the Niger Delta are from the Niger Delta. So it is the Niger Delta people that are underdeveloping the Niger Delta. So someday history will be written how Niger Delta people hmm. underdeveloped Niger Delta. Just so. like, you know, you hear of um, the people of Africa you know, how Africa was not um, developed until the advent of the European. Mm. And, and so, if tomorrow a foreigner comes to develop the Niger Delta, it also will be written how a foreigner came to develop the Niger rich oil region that was developed by, by its, its people. You know, so that's the saddest part of it. And then, in spite of the fact that we are consistently maintained that there is no place for the Interim Management Committee mm -hmm. in the books, in the act establishing the IMC. And that's why I laugh when you hear Buhari saying, oh, let uh, the, he wants to see that um, uh, the process is fast-tracked and that uh, the probe is uh, timelessly concluded. Nothing will come out of it. So leave all these stories. There is no Libras, place. let's be hopeful. Let's no, be hopeful no, that no. something will happen. For, for, for Buhari, body language and statements. I don't see him, because the, the House can only probe and pass the recommendation to Mr. President. Mm -hmm. As we speak now, the only time I will have hope is if from the revelation that we have had, it wasn't, it, why did not waste time to ask Magu to step aside for a thorough investigation? I am expecting, I have expected him to take certain, the same decisions to say, Minister for Niger Data, please Stay step away. aside. Um, what do you call it? Uh, the Interim Management Committee, please step aside. Mm -hmm. Let me appoint an auditor because from the revelation we are hearing, a committee that is supposed to be auditing the Niger, forensically auditing the Niger Delta, he is talking about, uh, the, the former acting MD said, you have been talking about nine uh, by forensic auditors, that it should show where the nine forensic auditors are, or that they should show from the account, have you seen where a cobble was paid to an auditor? Mm -hmm. to audit the NDDC. All you hear is that money was spent for sensitization. Some people helped themselves to some money. Condolence visits took almost a billion. And, and so when you hear all of, all of this, these are people who are supposed to be auditing. 
We agreed the Niger Delta had been a cesspool of corruption. And that's why also, like I said earlier on, even some of the lawmakers also are accused mm. of having their hand deep in the pie. Because even though they won't, don't want to agree, whether you call it padding or not, the fact remains that the budget that was presented, lawmakers also added some projects to the budget to help themselves. And so you have everybody's hand in the pile. It's mm -hmm. like, it's a creation, like Babio had said, it's a creation to help, you know, politicians who want to go into election. But unfortunately, they don't win election. And, and so now you say you have an interim management committee. You need to audit all that had happened before. You don't need, an interim management committee becomes open-ended and they are all helping themselves to the pie. Dr. Cairo Jubo is a medical doctor. You make him executive director projects the job that is supposed to be for an engineer. Yeah, what's the connection? So what's the connection? At the end of the day, some people will say it's an administrative. You need to understand the language of the engineering for you to manage engineering department. You know, so when you put all of this together, what it simply means is that yet you are just creating another behemoth of corruption to superintend the former corruption. So the only solution out of it is mm -hmm. apply the rules of engagement, which is the position of the law. I know the people are not going to come from heaven, but when you apply the rule to some extent, there'll be some sanity. Appoint a board, then employ a forensic auditor. That will be answerable to the president. It's an intervention agency. When an MPC is audited forensically, you don't sack the board. Mm. You audit, and then when you now audit this board, let the report be made known and let government take steps. Let's see the way you are you are prosecuting those that ate money in the massa. Let also see people like you know Akbabio, Joy Nune, the current MD, if they are found culpable. Hmm. Let also see them, you know, in the dock and possibly behind bar. That's the only way you can truly and genuinely give hopes to Nigeria that indeed there is a fight against, against corruption. corruption. But otherwise, it will just be entertainment of you slap me, if you are me, I know near you. All right. Thank you, uh, Libras.